guys this is going to be a lesson on real numbers so anything that's a real number is going to be a number that exists whatever number you write down that is considered a real number on the left side of the venn diagram you're going to have rational numbers rational just means that it could be written as a ratio and a ratio is a fraction so for example the fraction one half is the same thing as 0 0.50 right and uh, the fraction one third cannot uh, this right here is known as a terminating decimal uh, if it's a fraction that's converted into a decimal and you see that, that there's a repeating pattern like this one this one right here is called a repeating decimal so these are all rational numbers all of these uh, can be converted to percents for example 50 percent and a repeating percent 33.3 percent now you can also have improper fractions where the number on top is bigger than the number on the bottom or you could have proper fractions like three fourths that's a proper fraction now these are all known as ratios on the right side irrational numbers if you look here there's a double r uh, it kind of looks like a pi so pi is considered an irrational number because you guys know that's 3.14 right but this is actually 3.14159 and then this goes on forever with no pattern to it so that's irrational all right now uh, you also have irrational numbers that are square roots so for example the square root of two if you go to a uh, if you calculate this on your calculator you're gonna get a decimal that just goes on forever okay now let's go ahead and look at the left side so at the left side rational numbers uh, you can also have uh, square roots that are rational so anything on the left side is rational right so that includes uh, natural numbers so natural numbers are your counting numbers it starts with the positive one and then two three infinity right in the positive direction these are not uh, rational now you also have whole numbers which are rational and none of these have decimals, right? But they're still considered uh, rational numbers. So the number zero, one, two, three, etc. cetera. Uh, what else is rational? The other one that's rational are integers. Integers, uh, for example, negative three, negative two, negative one, and then zero, positive one, positive two, positive three. So these right here with the little check marks, these right here do not have decimals but they're considered rational because they could be written as a fraction. Now, just because something's written as a fraction does not mean that you're gonna end up with a decimal. For example, uh, if I take the integer, let's say uh, negative four. If I take that integer, that could be written as negative four over one. And when I divide that, I get negative four. So if you notice, there's, there's no decimal there. But, so that's why an integer is still irrational because you could write it as a ratio. Same thing goes for natural, whole, and integers. On the right side, irrational numbers, those are your decimals without pattern. So for example, if I write a decimal like this one, 0 0.13295513, and then it goes on forever. Again, I just made this up, right? But if you were to look at this, you don't know what the next number is gonna be after the three because there's no pattern here to tell you what it is so what are other types of patterns that you might have well maybe you might see something like 0 0.1414 14, like this you know that the next number is going to be a four that that's considered a pattern right there so what other rational numbers do you have well you might have mixed numbers like this okay so these are your rational numbers now the last thing you need to know is that you want to think of the latter when you're doing these problems so the latter we use it when we're classifying them for example all natural numbers these right here are whole numbers and all natural numbers are considered integers but not all integers so you can go up but you can't go down so all natural numbers are considered whole numbers um all natural numbers are considered integers and rational numbers but remember not all integers not all integers are considered whole numbers 
because integers only have positives and whole numbers uh, they don't have negatives so that's what the ladder strategy is all about right there okay so let's go ahead and classify some of these numbers so i'm going to go ahead and put pi the square root of 144 uh, let's go ahead and put 25 fourths negative 3.6 and uh, okay uh, 0 0.5 Four two one nine eight six two dot dot dot. All right, so pi is that a counting number? And no, pi is not a counting number. Is pi a whole number? No, not a whole number. An integer? No. Is it rational? Remember, if it's if it's any one of these over here, then it has to be rational. But as you can see, they're all x's, so that's a big no. Uh, is it irrational? Yes, it's going to be irrational. The next one is square root of 144. So if you were to calculate this, you would get 12. So is 12 a counting number? Yes. Is it a whole number? Yes. Remember that whole just means there's no decimals to it. Is it an integer? Yes, it's a positive 12. So because it's one of these three, is it rational? Can you write that as a, as a fraction? The answer is yes. Remember, you could put it as 12 over one, or maybe it's 24 over two. I know that 24 divided by two is 12. Is it irrational? No. All right, so the next one, we have the fraction 25 uh, fourths. Or let's go ahead and change this to 25 fifths. So 25 fifths is equal to five. Is it counting? Yes. Is it whole? Yes. Was it an integer? Yes, it's a positive five. Can it be written as rational or a ratio? Yes, it actually started as a fraction and it's not irrational. The next one is negative 3.6. Is this a counting number? Notice how there's a decimal, so that is a no. It's not a counting number. Is it a whole number? No. Why not? Because there's a decimal. Is it an integer? There's a negative, but no, because there's a decimal. Is this a ratio? In other words, can it be written as a fraction? Well, if it's a decimal, then that means it used to be a fraction, so that's a big yes. So how do you write uh this as a okay well let, let's go on from there uh is it irrational the answer is no and the last one here uh we see 0 0.54219862 so can you tell me what the next number is going to be is there a pattern to this decimal the answer to that is no there's no pattern so that's going to be irrational it's none of these it's not rational because there's no pattern to it it's a decimal so it's neither one of these right here all right, so that's how we classify real numbers, guys.